Good morning, universe. I am dressed in hot pink for you today. Yeah. How are you? How was your evening? Back at it again. If you are new to this channel, the whole point of 15 minutes is for me and hopefully you as well to get on your bike, elliptical, rowing machine, whatever you may have, or get out and take a walk for the next 15 minutes, one quarter of an hour, and just get a little exercise. <laughs> on average, it takes a person about 15 minutes to walk a mile. So, walk a mile. It's 100 calories. The heavier you are, generally the more calories you burn because the motion is different for you. So, and the more muscle you have sometimes, <laughs> the more calories you burn. <clears throat> so, get out and do something for yourself. If you're just taking a walk, it's a great way to just get out in the world and sort of be a part of society. I get out a lot, so I like to do this here in a controlled environment where I can just have control of my space and the sound around me. Except for the weed that's going off behind me. <laughs> Which you may or may not hear. <clears throat> Anywho, I hope you are well. And you had a great evening. Great day yesterday, and you're going to have another great one today. I went to see... <sighs> this is the end yesterday. I was planning to see a double feature, like I mentioned yesterday. When I got to the theater, though, the lady at the box office said, this is the end, was not playing until 7.45. And I went at about two, and a, 2 in the afternoon. So I wasn't going to see it. So I went in to see The Apprentice, sat down, and the uh, server who came to my table, really nice guy named Chris, said, I said, yeah, I was good to see this is the end. And he says, well, it's just now starting next door. I said, I was told it wasn't even showing until 7 o'clock at night. He said, no, I'm just they've been doing trailers. It's still starting. So I ran over and saw that and said, the apprentice, or the internship, the apprentice is Donald Trump. So I went and saw that instead of seeing the internship. I was going to see a double feature. After I got out of This is the End, though, my experience with that said, I don't want to go see something else because it may impact my mood. So I went home, and if you want to know if I liked it or disliked it, go check out the review that I posted for it here on this channel under Film Examiner. As a matter of fact, <clears throat> leading into the next topic, I did my first non-handheld video outside of this, because you're on a station here, but it was a tripod video that I did using my iPhone. I'll also be using my iPad and my iPod, because I apple the world. And I want to put in music and all this sort of stuff ultimately. I'm really just getting acclimated with iMovie. Started looking at some tutorials on it the other day. It is going to take me a while though because I'm really acclimated and familiar with the PC platform of editing. I edited the film I shot back in 2004 on Sony Vegas. Have never delved into Adobe Premiere. Found, found me, Vegas, Sony Vegas to be a very efficient and effective software for what I was doing. Over the years though, I've heard so many positive things about the Mac and Final Cut Pro, but the Mac platform in general, the security levels of it and the quality levels of it that I chose to finally get a Mac, 
when I got when I got the Big Daddy Mac. So it will be relevant still for the next few years until I can afford to or have the financial resources to upgrade to an even higher end version. Regardless, I'm still learning iMovie. But I wanted to make a tripod video. So I went out yesterday and figured out a, it resolved a small issue I was having with this holder that I use to hold the camera for my uh, devices so I could connect it to a tripod. It was basically a screw issue. I didn't have a long enough screw. So that's the bottom line. Took my Lowe's card, went and bought some screws that would fit my tripod, saved seven cents on the deal. I thought it was really funny because I have this Lowe's card and apparently, I suppose it's like Randall's or whatever. <laughs> if you go there and you use their card, you save a certain percentage. So I used my Lowe's card and on a dollar eighteen transaction I saved seven cents. So seven cents is seven cents though, right? So there we go. I got that resolved. I wonder if I was looking at a couple of other reviews last night for this is the end. And I noticed that a lot of them have music in the background and have editing. And they probably spend more time writing up the material that they're going to say on camera or on voiceover. Mine's very guttural. So whatever you see is really my first impression. I haven't edited it in any way. That's a weird word to say sometimes. Edited it. It's like rolling your R's. No, it's not. Okay. I'm like Chris Farley. I'm retarded. Um, I almost got through without saying it at all. There we go. I'm a cartoon. So, I know that my video on that may not be sharp and crisp. I may reiterate things. Remember, though, it's all guttural. First instinct, first impressions. And there you are. As time allows and my skills of editing with iMac and iMovie and Final Cut Pro evolve so well so will the sharpness of the video edits so stay tuned I am planning to see tonight Man of Steel which the theater that I live near that I have access to and go to called Star Cinema Grill has a midnight showing of Man of Steel so I'm planning to go and see that and then come back and get a review up before tomorrow morning. So I'm looking forward to doing that. I want to hear why the S is a symbol of peace because that's the big thing in the trailer. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. I hope it's like I told you yesterday, I think it was yesterday or the day before, that one of the uh, intriguing things about the Man of Steel movie is they have so many uh, product placement and marketing arrangements already, endorsement deals for the film already, that supposedly it's already paid for itself with just that aspect of things. So essentially when it hits theaters tomorrow or tonight, tomorrow, tonight, today, on tomorrow, tomorrow and today, that everything will be pure profit. So I'm going to predict, I predict it'll make less than a hundred million in its opening weekend. And I'm probably going to be really wrong about that. I just don't feel, no, I'm going to take that back. 125 million. I think it'll make 125 million, 125 million or less. I don't think it'll break any major box office records. It just doesn't feel like that to me. 
Of course, I could be wrong, but I'm never wrong, right? Perfect and everything. That's why I'm losing weight, because I'm perfect. Right? Yeah, that's it. So, there's something interesting I heard in the news that relates to the uh, security leaks that have been linked to someone by the name of Edward Snowden. The ACL is suing the Obama administration, and there's all these lawsuits starting to go against these security agencies for tapping into our phone records and our online social activities. And this is really basically the government trying to spin their culpability in doing something to us as the American people. They say, well, we think it risks the security of the nation. Well, I hate to break it to you. Terrorism has occurred while you've been doing this. Because do you really believe terrorists are going to be using the phone and simple, obvious social media in order to conduct their plans to hurt people and create acts of terror? Come on. If you think they're that dumb, where are you coming from? They're going to use more covert, more covert methods of doing it, whether it's code words that don't seem obvious, like mustard or, or mayonnaise or something that doesn't seem obvious and that only they've understood and established, probably in an offline, non-phone-related communication. They've probably met each other in person. They've probably established these things so that they can communicate online and on methods they know are being monitored and still get away with their plans. So your little BS talk about how it creates more danger and access for terrorism is just really garbage. It's a spin because you were getting away with it for a while and this man, not saying he's perfect, but had some sense of a conscience and said people need to know they are illegally being monitored. That your right to privacy is being invaded. And that's where it started. But now what they're trying to do is saying it's a matter of foreign, foreign espionage. That he could take his secrets to China or wherever else, North Korea, and try and sell them or exchange them for uh, for uh, what's the word? Um, the word escapes me right now. But basically for protection. So that they won't he won't be deported back to America to face charges. Well I have news for you. If this guy originally planned to give those secrets to China or whatever else, he probably would have done it in the first place. So he did it, I believe, in some capacity, because he had a conscience and felt like the American people needed to know that they were being monitored illegally and that their right to privacy was being compromised. Now, if he goes to China or wherever else, it's because you're forcing his hand to escape because you're going to hold him responsible for revealing the truth. And you should be ashamed of yourselves, we as the people and politicians, for allowing this garbage to happen. We need to make our votes being heard, make our voices heard. Man, 15 minutes goes fast with you guys. You guys rock and roll. Bottom line is, we should make our voices heard and not let these people be in office who approve of this kind of garbage. Let's maintain our privacy. Their behaviors so far have not stopped terrorism. It hasn't. Look at Boston. Look at all the horrible things that have happened in the world. 
And just locally in the United States, the Boston Marathon is a prime and current example, recent example, not current, but recent example of how this kind of invasion has not protected us. And we've never heard stories of how it has protected us. Bring out the proof and show it to us that this has actually stopped things and we may consider it in a different way. But this blatant invasion of human privacy, of American citizens' privacy, is completely unacceptable and wrong. And for the right reasons that he did it, I salute Edward Snowden. For the right reasons, meaning wanting us to know we were being monitored unlawfully. So there you go. 15 minutes for today. Thank you so much. I hope you got some exercise in, too. I will see you tomorrow. Take care of yourself and live with passion.